Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. CNN, the sinking ship, the Titanic, you know, that just hit an iceberg. They're absolutely pathetic, but they are losing out big time, and they are going under. In addition to that, they are firing their top talent because they can't afford the paychecks. There's lots taking place over there. We're going to dive into this report really quickly. Do you want to thank my sponsor, MyPillow? That's right, MyPillow.com. Promo code Lumberjack for big savings. Free shipping is back on because we have the interview with Mike Lindell tomorrow at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. Be there. All right, so here we go. Out of PJ Media, CNN appears on the verge of an epic collapse. I've been watching this story unfold for a little bit of time. CNN has been desperately treading waters for years now. The former king of cable news has been bleeding ratings. Fox News typically tops the ratings, people. I know we have our issues with Fox News, but you know, I guess it's better than them. At least they have some conservative commentators that are good, Jesse Waters and so on. CNN still fancies itself the most trusted name in news, yet even former CEO Chris Licht admitted last year that trust, assuming the point that they actually had it at one time, is long gone and they need to restore it. Chris did not last long. You remember, he was gone in short order. Now, one of the things I find interesting is I still remember the Gulf War, Saddam Hussein. I was just a, a kid then, but I remember that CNN was reporting from the front lines and they actually did have a lot of trust. The trust that people were tuning into CNN, the most trusted name in news and so on. They have squandered that, people. Literally just squandered it. The problem, of course, is that CNN claims to be fair and without bias. Yet anti-conservative views have long been part of the DNA as the network's on-air talent routinely bases its reports on Democrat Party talking points. Even token conservatives on the network are a joke and sound more like liberal pundits. That is so true. The struggling network is now desperately trying to get out of its death spiral. And step one is to cut costs by axing the remaining big name talents who have extremely large salaries. New CEO Mark Thompson is preparing ruthless cuts to remake the network as ratings plunge, leaving Anderson Cooper, Chris Wallace, Chris Wallace, oh, this is so beautiful, Wolf Blitzer, and Jake Tapper facing dates with the Axeman, a source says. Remember when, when Chris Wallace left Fox to go to CNN, which was actually, you know, an honest move at least, and then... His ratings stunk to high heaven. He was going to be part of their new streaming service that was going to go so big and went nowhere. <laughs> they had to close it like a month later. Oh, this stuff is hilarious. Insiders say other network favorites, including $15 million man Blitzer and $8 million Gent Tapper, are also bracing for the boot. Everybody knows the focus is on cutting costs, the insider continues. No one is safe. For now, big changes... No big changes are expected because the contracts for so-called heavy hitters don't expire until after the elections in November. But after then, well, anything can and probably will happen. A rep for Tapper insists talks of his ouster are false. But Thompson is known for wielding a sharp axe to get the desired bottom line. He recently removed hosts Poppy Harlow and Phil Mattingly from CNN this morning and consolidated all the network's production offices to Atlanta to save dough. Can you imagine this? He's going to try to run CNN like a business. A business. I mean, a business would have to produce a product that clients like. See, one of the sad realities, people, is MSNBC is still doing okay, even with their wackadoo reporting that they have. But you have to understand there is a base of serious leftist freaks who need to go somewhere. And so they consolidate behind MSNBC because they got Rachel Maddow. You know, I mean, you cannot act, ask for a bigger leftist, mentally deranged psychopath than that or Joy Reid. So they consolidate over there behind those people. Sources say he has no use for the star system and the hefty salaries that come with it. He's reportedly seeking to replace marquee names with talent who built their audiences on social media. Huh. Maybe they'll give me a call, including former Fox and NBC anchor Megan Kelly, who has 1.72 million subscribers on YouTube. The network posted its lowest number since 2014 at the end of 2023 and also hit an all-time low with the 25 to 54 age segment coveted by advisors. Advertisers, excuse me. CNN is trying to keep up with the new landscape and become a digital first provider, a source said. It makes sense now for them to pursue anchors who have already established a presence there especially if TV becomes a history in their portfolio. 
So, and then they go on about CNN Plus, which was the streaming service, which did so miserable. Um, I'm curious to get your thoughts on this. Please leave a comment down below. But CNN appears to be, uh, well, not CNN necessarily, but the anchors at CNN. Can you imagine Jake Tapper and Wolf Blitzer? I mean, it uh, couldn't happen to nicer people. Anyways, again, go check out the Mike Lindell interview tomorrow. Set a reminder for that. If you're new, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode. All right. Peace out.